After seeing the suggestion on former Mayor Julian Castro's Facebook page, Kayla Wilson started a petition to change the name of Robert E. Lee High School, where she'll be a senior in the fall. I started the petition um, when Julian Castro called for the renaming of my high school, Robert E. Lee. Kayla says the school should not celebrate the man who commanded the Confederate Army, but should be renamed after civil rights leader George W. Lee, who was assassinated after becoming the first black person registered to vote in Mississippi. More people are re-examining Confederate monuments and symbols of slavery after a white supremacist killed nine black parishioners in Charleston. Watch a thoughtful conversation between Kayla and City Councilman Roberto Trevino, whose district includes Lee High School and the Alamo. Yeah, there's a, the, the, probably the most iconic element of our history is the Alamo, and that in itself has a very complicated past. Did you know a woman once stood in front of a bulldozer to protect a San Antonio building that epitomized segregation? Watch history of the place built as the colored branch of the San Antonio Library and now celebrated as the Carver Community Cultural Center. During a recent City Council budget policy session, City staff presented a plan to equip San Antonio police with nearly 2,200 body cameras in three phases over the next three years. Our plan is to uh, implement over three years um, just under 2,200 cameras. It turns out the biggest expense is not the cameras, but the storage and management of the data that the cameras produce. Phase one for foot patrol, bike patrol, and park police could begin in fiscal year 2016 and costs up to $1 million. San Antonio summers are hot and seniors living without air conditioning face greater risk of suffering heat-related injuries or even death. Project Cool provides free box fans to anyone in San Antonio over the age of 60. You can request a fan by calling 211 or you can help by donating any new 20-inch box fan to your nearest San Antonio fire station. Keep cool in the pool this summer with our map of 25 free pools across San Antonio. Just pick a pool site nearest you and click through the address to get a map with transportation options. City pools are open until August 16th. Go to nowcastsa.com where you can see Kayla Wilson talk about her petition drive. Watch Kayla and Councilman Trevino discuss Confederate monuments and symbols. Learn about the history of the Carver Community Cultural Center. See the numbers behind body cameras. Get information about beating the heat with free fans and free outdoor pools. Thanks for watching The Edge.